we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign of what's going to happen to these other workers moving forward. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory to show you how the world really works. Also, those who donate to the Cash App Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And the Patreon, I just put a new newsletter yesterday. Also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love to you, keep shopping. Now, of course, guys, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And as we can see, the market is taking another little hit. Not big, but just a little hit. And, of course, this definitely is expected. Now, we know they need what? They need Bitcoin on the 5th, guys. We know these actual dates. We know we're going to be headed lower because they cut a lot of the facilities. We still have some facilities open until March 31st. And then when they cut those, if Janet Yellen doesn't do anything new, we know the stock market and cryptos are going to be headed down. Now, XRP pumped up to 74 cents, then got its correction. So guys, make sure you're not being greedy. We know greed kills every time. I see a lot of upset people online right now. We know greed kills every single time. Make sure you are looking at that volume. The volume doesn't make sense. So when the volume doesn't make sense and you're a trader, you know when to get out. You're not going to always get out at the top, but you know when to take profits. And that's the key. When it runs all the way up to 74 cents, I don't care if you've been a holder forever. You want to take some profits. That just makes common sense. Now, Stellar, guys, don't forget USDC is going to be active on uh, stellar this month. It looks like if you go look at it, it looks like it's already been active, but the fact is that their official time, of course, was this month. So we should start seeing their volume pick up and then also stellar move up. Not your financial advisor. It's not financial advice. Please do your own research. But guys, don't forget to keep your eye on the actual indicators. We have, of course, Tether, which now has been moving up steady. We see it's already at the $26.5 billion. And then also USDC. Do not keep your eyes off of this. Now we know at this time, guys, what do we want to do? Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. But we want to buy the lowest crypto that we see that has utility. For an example... We have Engine, we have Ocean Protocol, we have VeChain, and then, of course, Stellar is up in the air just because of USDC. Now, coin the hold for the long haul, we know which is, of course, what? Binance. Binance, when we go into a bear market, when all these cryptos are moving down, Binance moves up. We know nobody's buying Binance except for Binance, but it definitely moves up. I went over this, and as we can see, it's been up over $10 or $11 right now since I made the last comment about it. So, guys, we steady see that moving up. We know Binance is burning also. Now, basically, getting over into the actual crypto news. Very, very important news, guys, that's going to affect the market in a big way. And it's going to let us know how soon we're going to take the dump, how big the dump is going to be, whether we're going to be right back to 2018, 2019, what I expect. But we have Grayscale 
opens up the Ethereum Trust at the same time that we have CME about to happen on February 8th. So guys, we know it's going to be a lot of manipulation going on. Now we're going to see whether they're going to be manipulating the price up or manipulating it down. But definitely this is going to be a movie for the next 30 to 45 days. So basically get your popcorn. But it's definitely going to let us know where this market is going. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that. We know that the trust is open now and we know CME Ethereum Futures is February 8th. We have to wait for that to close in order to see exactly where this is headed. Just like I stated, it's going to let us know where we'll be back in 2018, 2019, where these cryptos lose a lot of volume. Right now, we have about 8,000 cryptos, guys. We know at the end of 2021, going into 2022, I guarantee you that'll be cut in half and then going for more will be cut. We know that only 1% of these cryptos are going to make it out. Plain and simple. All this free money that's being thrown out, that's definitely going to end. Now, we have the Robin Hood GameStop situation still on CNBC, guys. They're still riding that. So just like I said, I've been over it several times. That is a way to get us over the blockchain, get everything tokenized. Now, we also have Microsoft uses blockchain technology to purchase soil carbon credits in Australia. So, guys, we know Microsoft hand is everywhere. We had Ben Gertzel talk about how much money, billions and billions of dollars, that Microsoft has been donating to the projects. So, definitely, guys, they in it from the beginning. And we know these same corporations want to be ahead of the fourth industrial revolution, Society 5.0. They're the ones who are building it. You're always going to see the same banks and the same corporations hands everywhere you go. Remember, always connect the dots for you. Now we have MicroStrategy stock up over 113% after being downgraded by Citigroup. But guys, we know why it's up. The Fed has been buying the stock. And then also, guys, we had Morgan Stanley buy 10%. So we know the game. They play both sides. And then also, guys, we have Mark Cuban thinks Wall Street stands no chance against tokenization, the digitalization of the actual economy. And is that correct? Yes. Because we know the people that are in charge of the legacy markets are trying to destroy this current market in order to bring in the fourth industrial revolution, Society 5.0, that's already built basically in China over in Asia. They're almost complete. We're 10 years behind on purpose. Now we have former Bank of China exec joins BitMEX subsidiary 100X Group as a non-executive board director. So guys, we haven't heard a lot about BitMEX since the actual situation. We saw CME take their spot. So guys, we saw a whole lot going on at the time that Bitcoin was going sky high. So basically that was this distraction and Bitcoin went to 40,000. So on, we have to make sure we keep that on our calendar from the day that happened in October, all those events to now. Because cryptos blasted off and did not look back. But we saw a whole lot of manipulation going on. BitMEX was not the only exchange that they bothered during that time. And then also we saw the Grayscale manipulation also. And as we can see with Ethereum, Grayscale is back open just at the perfect time. So we definitely see the manipulation going on. Now we have Kraken to run its own chain link nodes to broadcast spot price data to DeFi apps. Now in crypto, guys, we need spot price data anyway because we know when it comes to these exchanges, they all have different prices, which makes no sense whatsoever. And lastly, guys, speaking about spot price, we had the silver squeeze going on, guys, this last weekend. And me personally, guys, I have been stacking silver for over 15 years. So now I get an opportunity to unload on some of it. But definitely, guys, if you have silver, it's definitely an opportunity for you to unload. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and the New World Order book. If you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, the links are in the description, book links are in the description. 
Also, when it comes to the stock channel, guys, Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, do not forget to miss that. You have your Cobalt, your Chip Stocks, your Gaming, your Banking. Everybody's sitting at home. You got your at-home stocks, the C-Word, the Biotech Stocks. And while everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and y'all have a wonderful day.